All right, guys. Uh, small little project I wanted to work on just to test out the compost tea that I'm working on with a Kretke style of hydroponics. I have um, these three inch, which are probably too big, but I was thinking about putting a couple holes in just this is just a little tiny. I mean, it's it's gonna hang down like that far into it. A little tiny container from. Uh, from Walmart, it was 94 cents, so I figured what the heck. Obviously, it's clear. I'm going to paint this with some spray paint, which I'll do in just a second. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut holes in the top for two. Let me grab another one here. Two net pots. Um, I'm using the three inch ones just because that's what I have. And they're, like I said, they're probably going to be too, too big. But if I just do like a, like a bean seed or something, uh, then it'll be fine. Um, and then uh, the Kratky method doesn't do aeration or circulation of the um, nutrients. It just has uh, stagnant just sitting here, and you just kind of fill it up when it needs to. So I'll end up filling up the water to, like, if this is sitting right here, which this is lower than it'll be. You'll see when I cut it out. But um, it's right about there. Just so it's touching the net pot, um, there's some there's some room for growth there. It's not going to be anything serious. Uh, just to kind of experiment to see if this idea would work. I probably could just do one, allowing for the root system to grow outward, uh, which I might do. Um, and there's hooch coming down to explore. Actually, I, I'll probably do two. So let me. That's my that's my dog hooch. Let me get this painted up and I will be right back. Okay, um, so I decided that I am just going to do, I'm going to do one right in the middle. Uh, that way it will have the full growth. I'm letting the first coat of spray paint dry on the bottom piece outside. So um, what I'm going to do is trace this out. And I'm being lazy because I don't have a marker on me. And I'm just using a... Uh, Using a nail just to kind of outline the three inch net pot. Now let me cut in just a little bit from there. A very sharp razor blade. Hopefully, I don't cut myself here. Just so it has a little bit of room for the lip. By the way, if you're watching my videos for safety tips, you come in the wrong place. There we go. Like butter. So let's just cut into there. Ah, there we go. Not a perfect circle, but uh, we can we can make it work. bit bigger here. Um, so like I said, this is just going to house one plant, uh, non-circulating, non-aerated, uh, basically just a, a way of testing out um, a theory of mine I want to kind of mess around with, but let's see how this works. There we go. Like I said, that'll just sit there. It's nice, nice. One, one guy will go in there. Uh, similarly, there's, there's hooch again. So let me uh, let me go get the other, the bottom coat, uh, second coat done. Uh, then we'll put this all together, and I'll show you uh, how it's all going to be. Okay, so you can see here it's not. I'm going to put another coat on it just to make it a little bit darker, but you can kind of get the idea. It's black now. I just use some cheap spray paint there. So I'm going to put everything together after it's fully done. You can see that there's no lights getting in there. Put this guy on top and I'll fill up just enough so that it's touching the inside here. Let me grab. I, uh, I sprout my stuff in, in rock wool so I'll put that guy in there. Uh, I'll, grow, I'll get some growing medium, maybe some gravel or some uh, hydrogen uh, and then that'll just be down in uh, the water and all I'll do is make sure that the levels are fine. Uh, make sure that they're 
up to the, the level of touching the the actual roots of the sprout that's growing in there. Um, then this can just kind of sit on like a windowsill or something. So cheap little project. I want to see if it will work. Uh, let me. I'm gonna get a, a probably a bean. I'll put a bean in one of these guys. Have it sprout out and then uh, put them in here. And see what happens. So. Um, if you have any other suggestions or you want to see any separate projects, uh, check out my channel for some more updates on my hydroponics experiments. Uh, I'm working on dechlorinating some water as well as making some, some compost tea. So if you like this, leave a comment. Uh, if you have any questions, leave, leave a question in there. And then uh, I'll show you the progress of this uh, once I get something in here. Uh, later on, once it starts to grow or if it dies, I'll, I'll let you see that too. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, and... Uh, have a good one.